I welcome you to this edition of New Day on NTA2, Lagos Network Centre. My name is Ivan Dugan. It hasn't changed and it won't change for all the money in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I love that part. I love that part. I love that part. I, I, I think I can still remember that mm -hmm. song. Is it do you, please? I can't even sing. No, sing, sing, no, sing, sing. But is it do you remember how falling heroes? Yeah. Do you remember? Definitely. I think that one I tried. <laughs> 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 After this break, you will get to know my answer. It's New Day, the voice of the new generation. Thank you for joining us. Wanna be in the know? Tune to the show. Start a new day now in your zone. Touching the work and career ends up in the play zone. Take luck to entertain, fire to make you feel at home. And it's all about you. It's all about you. New day. Commonly referred to as the Nigerian Grammy Awards, the ninth edition of the Headies was hosted by on-air personality come television talk show host Toke Makinwa and ace comedian, actors, musicians, producers, video directors, television and radio personalities and many more celebrities stepped out in style to grace the event. Hosting, so um, I'm looking forward to people having a good time and um, letting their head down and enjoying the experience that the head is. is. New performers and other industry professionals who've distinguished themselves in Nigeria's music industry were not only celebrated at the ninth edition of the Headies, but an award went to musicians, performers, and singers of different genre of music. And the winner is. Let somebody love you! Thank you so much. Hedis, thank you so, so much. Innocent, I need to face with you. I appreciate this. Thank you. There were 23 award categories up for grabs, but almost everyone was looking forward to I'm looking forward to the next rated, looking forward to the album of the year. I'm looking forward to the performances. Well, I'm looking forward to the next rated act. I think that'll be interesting. Uh, next rated, because I, I mean, I like to see the young guys coming up and doing and doing really well for themselves. And these people for me have put in a lot of work. Like everybody in that category deserves to win, to be honest. From Runtown to Pattern Rankings to Yemi Day to Skills to Orezi, I feel like all those artists have put in immense work. I'm looking forward to a great show. Um, really curious to see who's going to win the next rated category. Uh, of course that's a big one. So I'm looking forward to some great performances as well. Next rated. 
you know, next with it. I just hope, um, um, is it Pataranki or something? I mean, I hope, I hope so. I'm looking forward to the category I'm presenting that's best rap single. I'm looking forward to every category that the Mavens were nominated for. We're gonna cake, we're getting that, we're getting it, getting it, getting it. We're gonna see what Paka was this night then. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, I look forward to all the awards and may the best people win, the people that deserve it, may they eventually win. Shout out to everybody in the industry. One love. The next rated was won by Happy Day Crooner, Pata Rankin, who went home with a total of three awards that night. Yeah, I'm known as Pata Rankin, you know, you can see my inner tire. David O's song, Aye, won the song of the year. Aye, David O. And Sean Teasel's debut album, Perfect Gentleman, won the best album of the year. Celebrated video producer and director Clarence Peters took on the challenge with Unlimited LA and Kemia Datiba to cut home the video director of the year. Um, this is Lagos, the head is 2014 awards that took place sometime late in December. Uh, just before we, came, we saw Nikki Laoye with those dance steps. She hasn't changed, hasn't she? No, she hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't, and I think, I mean, that thing yeah. takes a lot of strength. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, Can she's, I do that? I don't know. You, you could, Let's you know, if, if you put your heart and mind to it, you could do it. Ricky, that's true. What of it? But you can't. <laughs> But it was a very good award, and you know, uh, I, I was there as well. I enjoyed it. I, I looked forward to like everybody was saying the next rated and yeah. Pato Ranking. You, you like Pato Ranking, don't you? Oh, yeah. Tell me, you like and it. Of course, I do. And you know, I mean, it was talking uh, briefly about his history. Yeah. He started and exactly. Like that. And he's one of those people that actually, I mean, they start from the very grass, mm -hmm. and right now they are being celebrated. Exactly. So but let's see if we can cut on more awards this year. Well, Pata Rankin, big things is promised us this year. An album we're waiting. Lots of videos as well. And to all the Nigerian uh, entertainers as well, big ups to them. Because 2014 was a massive year in the Nigerian entertainment industry. Okay. Now, um, you can always be a part of this program. All you have to do is to um, join social media platforms. Our email address is newdaytvshow at gmail.com. Oh yes, and don't forget, on this edition, we like calling our Thursday edition the Wind Down Edition. And we have beautiful program lined up for you. Uh, today we have something interesting on Sports Record Breakers. I'm sure you, you, you all know him, but tell us. Tell us. I think, okay, for the ladies at least, this one. Even yeah, that's why, I, that's, why, that's why I gave it to you, because it will sound right if I start, you know, praising him. Mm -hmm. it, no, it's, it, they'll think yeah, it's 14 yeah. years. It's 14 years, man. I, I love my life, come on. <laughs> okay, I mean, okay, don't worry, tell them the name. Well. Okay, don't worry. It's the message <laughs> that we have today on Sport Records Breaker. Yes, he's handsome, he's rich, and okay. that one is rich, and he's a very good footballer. Most importantly, he's very short. Uh, I don't know that one. <laughs> but, the, but the back account is not short. That one is Oh, short. no, no, it's like my own. It's tall. Eh? Like your it's own. like my own. Uh, okay. <laughs> Make yourself happy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and um, if on, on the footprint segment today, mm -hmm. yes. We have a dude in the house. Like this guy, he's a TV mm. actor, he's a he's a, and right now he's currently holding a title. Mm. All this in one person. Don't worry, you get to meet him on our footprint segment. No, if you have seen Tubosun when he met eh? you know, when she met him, you know, she was she was drooling all over the place. She was drooling. <laughs> have you wiped it off? Let no, me see. No, let me see. Wait, let me I'm see. I'm not talking. <laughs> Move on next, please. <laughs>
<laughs> well, and he said, she said, segment today, we have something quite interesting. Well, you get to find out how we get there. It's about dating, you know, guy, girl, who acts, who out. Is it high time girls start asking the guys out or should the guys just take a chill pill and let the girls walk up to them? No way. When we get there, you'll find out what we're discussing about. And we have a very interesting guest who is ready to spill on the issue she said. Okay, and don't forget on the creative edge, which is something that celebrates talent, arts, craft. We have something interesting today on the creative edge. Don't worry, you'll be a part of that very soon. Okay, so let's head off straight into the show. And to us soon, I'll give you the honors again of introducing that? our guest. Because I, I don't, if I use all of the adjectives I want to use to qualify him, like I said, it's, it's 14. 14. So, <laughs> do the honors. Okay. Now, <clears throat> let me clear my truth. Uh, maybe, don't drool again, please. <laughs> ah, I already on set. Uh, I don't let, let's do it this way. Can I have your autograph, please? Because that's the way <laughs> ladies, uh, once they see this fine dude, your autograph, your autograph, your autograph. <laughs> You've not answered it. Can I have your autograph, yes, please? You can, sure. Where would you like to sign? Anywhere. My hand. Mm, that question. Uh, my hand. That's a, that's a <laughs> certain question. No. Just sign on my hand. That's a certain <laughs> question. That. No. Uh, where will you want to sign to us? Oh, yeah. Why are you asking where do you want to sign? That's a certain question. Uh, uh, this guy. Just uh, say uh, sign on my hand. <laughs> oh, God. This thing. So, yeah. we have in the studio with us mm -hmm. today, Emmanuel Ukubeza. Is that right? Yeah, you tried. Uh, okay, I tried. 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 Okay, <laughs> better put. We have in the studio, Mr. Nigeria. 2014. This is a fine guy. He beat me to it. I came second. <laughs> I came second. And when he contested, I mean, even for the mistake. When I contested. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I, he was actually the first one as well. Mr. Yeah. World Africa. Mr. World Africa. Yeah. Good. It's good to have you with us today. Good to, good to be here. It's nice, you know, coming here to NTA, a station that I've been working for like so long while I was a kid. Uh, okay. And how old are you now? I'm, I'm a bit, I'm a bit younger. Oh, you're a bit <laughs> younger. I'm a, I'm a couple of years younger now. Okay, you thank you. You understand. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, so Ivan, the very first question. Oh yeah, you know, uh, since you are done, so I can now talk man to man. We can now discuss. <laughs> man uh -huh, to man. Yes. Yeah, sure. You know, because I'm so, I'm so pissed off that you beat me to the award. Though. You know, I came second, you came first. But I'll let sleeping dogs <laughs> lie. You know, let's so let, let, let's go straight to it. So how was the award? You know. Um, Mr. Nigeria, to be precise, um, becoming Mr. Nigeria, it's um, it's it's almost like a dream come true for me oh. because I've always wanted to be given the platform to represent my country. You know, um, I'm very passionate about Nigeria. Even while I was in school in Kenya, you know, I was this Nigerian figure because I was doing a lot of things representing Nigeria. I was known as Niger Connection Nike. <laughs> you know, so I was this Nigerian person that was making waves and I was voted as the media, by the media in Kenya as one of the 10, I was among the 10 um, desirable celebrities in Kenya. I oh, was the first oh. Nigerian to get, oh, you know, to ever grace that, um, that page, you know. So um, I, I feel honored, you know, doing my country proud, you know, despite negative images that mm -hmm. we get to hear about Nigeria certain times, you know, we, I, I feel like there's a lot to offer from Nigeria. There's a lot Nigeria has to offer and then it takes we young people to actually prove the world that Nigeria is not as bad as a lot of people is. think, mm -hmm. you know. So we are the people to show the world what it is. So becoming Mr. Nigeria was that platform for me. But representing Nigeria, the world, yeah. the world was another amazing platform for me because throughout my stay at the Mr. World in in um, in the UK, I wasn't called Manuel. I was mm -hmm. called Nigeria. Mm -hmm. oh. Nigeria is Picture Nigeria, is <laughs> Nigeria, you know, except now we got personal with the other contestants yeah. and knew our names, of course, you know. But that was what it was for me, representing my country. Mm -hmm. And in coming second, wasn't it wasn't Emmanuel becoming the second most desirable man? Mm -hmm. It was Nigeria becoming the, the second most, most desirable nation in the world. Oh, fantastic! You know, and you know that's what it meant for me. You know, so becoming Mr. World Africa, you know, it's something. Um, it's a dream come through for me. Mm -hmm. And the first Black African to get to that position. Mm -hmm. Just you know, just made my year last year. Yeah. So okay. Definitely. Now we've been hearing you talk about uh, Mr. World Nigeria yeah. representing. Yeah. Okay. Now let's get to meet Emmanuel. Oh. The real, <laughs> like Emmanuel when he's at home wearing the shorts. Yeah. yeah. Emmanuel when he's at home when his girlfriend comes knocks at the door. <laughs> yes, that Emmanuel. We want to meet you. Well, this Emmanuel is. Um, I'm the first. Mm -hmm. um, okay. I'm the first child of wonderful, beautiful, supportive family. Mm -hmm. um, 
my parents and my siblings have given me all the support in the world I could mm -hmm. ever ask for. Um, I have a wonderful mom, a wonderful father. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a beautiful sister, kid mm -hmm. sister. She's the last born, and I have my younger, okay. middle younger brother. You know, who is serving Nigeria actually in mm. the Nigerian Air Force. Oh, you know, so yeah, well, I think we're practically dedicated to serving the country. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so yeah, so that's me. Um, I'm I'm a graduate. I studied international relations in mm. Kenya at yeah. an American University, uh, and um, and it's amazing. That's something I had a passion for. So my parents just kept on telling me, just give us a good result in school. Yes, and I made sure I did that, and I gave them my certificate. I'm like, hey. This is it. I know it's no. important for me because you know in life it's always good to have a fallback plan. Yeah. Yes, you know, yes. but I did that and I like to put a smile on their face, you know. And I said, No, can I go chase my dream? And they're like, Yes, we'll give you the hundred percent support 100 you need. Support. And they've been doing that. Mm -hmm. You know, they were there while I was crowned Mr. Nigeria. They were there when I was crowned Mr. World Africa at the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so um I couldn't have asked for anything more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You're such a good guy. He told us only the good <laughs> side. Oh, he did not even make mention of that name. Um, How you handle those ladies. I'm still getting my own autograph today. It, it, well, <laughs> it was so it, it's nothing. You know, it's just, uh, it's all about you. Of course, the ladies are there and all of yeah. that attention you get being Mr. Nigeria and all, you know, Mr. World. But it's, um, it's just you knowing how to break, you know, cut the limit between ah uh, does you know people and your personal self okay. you know, and then sometimes if you go with the flow mm -hmm. you get distracted okay. you know and then i try to always keep my you know my head focused and that's why you find me not you know a lot of times oh, okay okay uh, so you know we, we like you have fans female fans who are so crazy about you your your two packs or your six packs <laughs> and and all of it you know what's the craziest female fan has done to you uh, there's a whole lot of crazy things I've seen, yeah, uh, yeah. but I'll, I'll go to the less crazy part because of the kind of show we're in. Okay. Um, someone has actually walked up to me and kissed me, like just came up to me and like, oh, let's <laughs> kiss daddy. I'm like, okay, okay, you know, I kind of think. Okay. Um, was, was, yeah. was this in Nigeria? Yes, this was in Nigeria. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, I know that Emmanuel, your TV host, yeah. you're an actor, yeah. Yeah. and um, your model, definitely, yeah. and also <laughs> Mr. Nigeria. Yeah. Now, um, you started your acting career while we in Kenya? Yes. Yeah. On Sugar, is that right? Yeah, on Sugar, yeah. Okay. Where I got to work with Lupita and Yongo and all of exactly. that. Oh, how, how was working yeah, with her? Exactly. It was amazing. Um, Sugar was actually my first acting platform. I tried out music at the point, and it was really difficult breaking in because of how the music industry yeah. is and it was so expensive you know we have to do videos and all of that so um i got a break from acting and i got to work with i got i was given the opportunity to do sugar it was my first acting mm. gig ever you know so i was a bit nervous at first you know so lupita would call me back and because she was also co-directing uh -huh. and then she'd be like oh you can do this just take it easy you know the picked you you know do this do that you know so she really helped me a lot and um seeing her become who she is yeah Actually, it was one of the reasons why, even when I went for the Mr. World, I had no doubt in my mind that I really wanted to do well because I felt if Lupita, who I've worked with, the Kenyan mm -hmm. girl, could actually achieve yeah. such high, exactly. you know, then there is no limit for anyone. Mm -hmm. Indeed, like she said, you know, your dreams are valid. You know, mm -hmm. so I went there to the Mr. World with high expectations that mm -hmm. I can actually conquer these people mm -hmm. and become Mr. World. You mm -hmm. know, and that's the same mentality I have right now because as an actor, I'm just I'm not just looking at the Nigerian entertainment or Nigerian movies alone I, I i hope to i pray you know my desire is to break into hollywood and then um i'm working towards you know getting that doing the right training that i need to do to get to such height and then seeing that she's achieved that just mm. makes it a bit yeah. more um visible for me mm. now you know because i had this song that ah, we were together <laughs> yeah, before, exactly you know, it's just that we don't i actually lost i personally lost touch with her you okay. know, why she went back to the state but just the fact that we were very close, yeah. honestly, it's not even because she's big now. I mean, yeah. like, she was actually helping me get a scholarship, you know, f you know, in a film school in the state, mm -hmm. you know. So, um, so seeing how she's the height so that's inspired you, right exactly. Exactly. Like, you like it took do. my it inspired me like a hundred times, <laughs> <laughs> you know. So, um, so yeah, so that's that's good. Okay. Interesting. Now let's come back to Emmanuel. Yeah. <sighs> just, just quick, quick question <laughs> for the food. Don't think. Uh, uh, you, you didn't think. Why you I didn't think. I didn't think. I, I, I didn't think. Okay. Yeah. Favorite color? Blue. Oh, okay. okay. Hobbies? 
singing, dancing, traveling. Oh, uh, uh -huh. I had dislikes. Dishonest people. Mm. <laughs> and likes. Likes. Yeah, likes a lot of uh, food. A uh, lot, yeah. Right? Genevieve Motola. Genevieve. Why, why, why? Motolized married. No, no, no. Take hypothetically speaking now, she's not married. Genevieve Motola. Motolized married. <laughs> so you might she's married. Okay, Motola is married now. Genevieve. Alright. <laughs> so also Dickie or Rita Dominic. Rita Dominic. Why Rita? After all, she's not uh, after all Tonto so is oh you have a crush. Yeah, I'm just I used to have a I have a crush, not used to. Oh, <laughs> oh you still oh, oh, you, you still have a crush on yeah. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Okay. interesting. Whatever. No, we're coming back to you. <laughs> I we're coming back to you. Yeah. Right yeah. after this break, please stay with us. <laughs> Hello Nigeria, it is Kubisi Emmanuel, Mr. Nigeria 2014, Mr. World, first runners up 2014, and style and fashion winner. How you doing guys? Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Nigeria 2014 is number two. I decided to take part in Mr. Nigeria contest because um, I wanted to set my brand apart. I wanted people to know me as Emmanuel because after taking part in MTV Sugar, people were you know calling me Femi Sugar. And All the way from Nairobi. His name is Femi. What's up, Femi? Hey! Woo! All right, I'm very glad to have you back. I missed you. A lot of people didn't even know my real name, so I wanted people to actually know my real name first before you know attaching all the titles that I get from different movies because I might play a hundred movies, you know, so I just wanted that. So I wanted to set my brand apart and I decided, I, I figured out being, you know, contesting for Miss Nigeria or being Miss Nigeria was going to be a good platform to do that. At a point, I actually almost didn't do it because I figured out ah, there was no need, but I thank God for my parents who supported me and encouraged me, you know, to take part in it. And here I am today, not just Mr. Nigeria, but also the second most deserving man in the world. You know, so I thank God for wonderful parents who supported me and encouraged me to get this far. If I could change one thing in the world, I would love to change our love to fight against domestic violence against women. Because I'm happy and alone if you feel like that's what you want to do. Yes, it is your boy, and you're watching it. <laughs> Emmanuel, you got you, like. Wow. <laughs> we caught you. You guys got me. Right hand. Emmanuel, <laughs> well, yeah. I think I'm just going to do this straight away. Okay. He did. He gave us some stunts there. We yeah. want you to do the same what thing. What stunts? Yeah. All those things. All those things. Uh, those uh, things are stage things. Uh, 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 this is also the uh, stage. Are you, After all, are you your palo? Ah, this is my palo. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm in the sitting room right now. <laughs> You know, wow, well, you guys got me. I didn't know you had all of that. Oh, come on, you know. Don't worry. Well, don't worry. We, uh, we have our way. We have our way. Wow. Yeah. All this well. <laughs> we knew that one day. You will make us proud. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. All right. Interesting. So, yeah. I mean, all that. Mm -hmm. The dancing, the... Yeah. The attire, excuse me. I even saw you actually shot yourself. Now you're like, did yeah, I really I do like, that? Did yeah. I really do all of that? <laughs> so, did you really do all that? Well, I what did. was going through your yeah. mind? No, my mind at that time was just, uh, especially for Mr. Nigeria, I was putting all my, like, everything. I put in every, when, the thing about me is when I want to do something, I put 100% in mm -hmm. it. And I went to Mr. Nigeria with 100% and I was like, you know, God, I'm going to do this. I want you to favor me, you know. And I went in there with my 100%, mm -hmm. you know. So a lot of times I look back, I'm like, did I really do all that? Because you're just there, you're, you're, at the, you're, it's the, you're in the moment, yeah. you know. The same thing at the Mr. World. I went there and I had fun. And I thank God that God really, like, favored me mm -hmm. because even when I made certain mistakes, you know, I was always given, like, a second, second chance to do something. You know, and it, it all falls down to prayer. And I'm a person that believes, like, wherever I am today is because of, you know, by God's grace. And I, I going to Mr. Nigeria, I remember I went to Mr. Nigeria with the mindset of going to Mr. World. Mm -hmm. okay. So I went to the Mr. Before I actually won Mr. Nigeria, before I went, before I bought the form, I went to the website and I said, God, the picture on this, on this, 
um, Ni Mr. Nigeria, yeah. the person who's going to represent Nigeria, I want my face, I want my picture to be there. Mm. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want. I want to represent Nigeria, the Mr. World, and I want to be Mr. World. Mm. And mm -hmm. that's what I told God. Mm. And mm. It came and then it just flew. So while I was contending for Mr. Nigeria, my mindset was Mr. Mr. World. World. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, so. Okay. Pastor Emmanuel. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay. You know, so yeah. Let's get to it. Uh, uh, we have some questions on twitter this one is rita not your crush though uh <laughs> she's asking what are your plans for 2015 oh 2015 is yeah. gonna be a big year for me um it's gonna be more like me and about like you heard on um during the, when i was asked the question to mr nigeria yeah. stage yeah. what would i want to change and honestly one thing i would love to change is get start you know stop the fights and domestic violence against women i believe it's high time mm -hmm. role models men male role models in the society men in the society begin to stand up to fight against domestic violence because um in honestly we are the perpetrators of domestic violence yeah. women are just the victims you know so if we keep quiet and just let the women just keep you know going about you know creating awareness then if it, it feels like we're actually folding our hands and saying we support what mm -hmm. all these men are doing you know so if we stand up you know to this fight i think there will be a reduced rate it's of a, domestic it's a violence. Thing. you know exactly yeah. you know especially if it comes from really top role models like yeah. imagine someone like the president saying i say no to domestic exactly. violence imagine people like the head of you know a lot of people who are respecting the society now you're sounding like somebody that wants to be in politics sometimes so. why do people <laughs> say that uh, like honestly no. The I third interview you've had, I'm so like, <laughs> you sound like you... Yeah, you, you sound it, you sound it. Is this, I'm just passionate about no. my... We uh, know we that one worry. day, uh -huh. you will make us proud. Amen. <laughs> when you get to the Senate. <laughs> You know, but yeah, so these are the things I want to do. Of course, movies, um, I plan to do, uh, I plan to produce my own film this year, mm -hmm. By God's Grace. I am um, doing a couple of movies, the campaign on domestic violence. Mm -hmm. Sugar is also coming back this year, oh, which yeah. is an amazing campaign. You know, one thing I love about Sugar is because of the fact that it passes the message. Yes. And yes, yes, it, yes, you know, so those are the things that I love to be part mm -hmm. of. You know, um, I intend to do uh, an orphanage thing where you know, often kids are given like a chance mm -hmm. to go to school and all of that. So it's just a couple of things I intend to do this year. By God's grace, I pray by the end of the year, I will be smiling and say, yes, I achieved all of that. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Then um, acting career. Of course. Um, I mean, what are the other um, things you featured in? Other oh, movies? Um, I've done a couple of movies. How many so far? I think about six. Oh, six so movies. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good. I did a series, um, Taste of Love showing on Thursday TV and I think on um, mm -hmm. DSTV um, I did a couple of movies with African magic yeah. I did a movie in Ghana mm -hmm. uh, my first movie in Ghana it's like premiering it. in February it had Jackie Appiah oh. and Christopher Lake it's premiering in February that's the cast yes it is you know um, it's premiering <laughs> in Ghana then I think in March or so it's premiering in Lagos okay then um, there's another movie I did it's a more bonus movie it's called 50 mm -hmm. um, it's also so coming it's out I don't know when yeah you're doing you all know. this even while you're still Mr. Nigeria. Well, well it, it, I've been doing that before. Your bank account is getting <laughs> fat out. Hey, hey. Don't yeah. forget me when you get to that palace. Well, I will. <laughs> well, why, 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 it's time wait, to let you go now. Oh, wow. Thank you. Oh, it's so short. Wait, wait, just, just before you go, yes. how many months did it take you to get this six pass? Because I'm working towards it. Well, funny Inspire enough. Inspire him, please. Um, I've always been a um, physically... Uh, how do I put it now? I've always been this person that loves oh, okay, no out, you know, so to wait, you know, oh, okay. there's sometimes I stop have for to a wait, bit, right. you know, then I, oh, gosh, I have to get back to the gym. Mm. I've been out for a while, mm. you know, okay. but for someone like you, it takes, it honestly, it takes a lot of determination because if it's not part of your lifestyle, okay. it's really like you need to. Don't worry, I would, I would encourage him. Yes. Mm -hmm. We'll go to the gym together. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I like that. It's a, <laughs> it, it, it has to be a personal decision. Like okay. I was at a point when I was like, ah, man, no, I need to look. <laughs> And it was because of something. I, was <laughs> <laughs> I know. After the behind the camera, behind the camera. Yeah. Right. Emmanuel, right. thank you very much. Thank you very much for having and me. And hope the very best in your future thank endeavors. You. Thank You've you. You've met us so. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if I meet you on the red carpet, yes. And I tell you, Emmanuel, you know me. I'll now. come to you first. You come to me <laughs> yes, first. Will, ah, all those ladies don't be jealous. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank okay. you. It's still oh, new God. day. Uh, it's still new day yeah. on NTA Two Channel Five. We've been speaking with Mr. Nigeria, two thousand and fourteen. It's time for us to go for it and when we come back we also have other segments ready for you please stay with us